such a good Christmas and um, by the time this goes up it'll be the new year so I hope you have a really good new year as well um, I know it's been such a long time since I last filmed and the reason being for that is probably you probably know why is because I'm busy with work um, but I thought I'd start the new year with a new video um, and yeah um, so I am gonna film my um, birthday look that I am gonna wear tomorrow but t by the time this video goes up will be New Year's Day which is my birthday if you guys didn't know um, so um, yeah if that makes any sense at all but yeah um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching so I'm just gonna go in a bit closer so that you guys can see my face a bit better and you've probably noticed that my background's a bit different and that's because I'm filming in my sister's room so I've just put like a blank sheet at the back um, because my room at the moment is really high maintenance and I've got so much clutter of like presents and boxes and stuff that I need to sort out but I thought it's easier to film in my sister's room so I've just put like a blank sheet because uh, her wallpaper is actually purple and I think it wouldn't the lighting wouldn't really reflect my makeup as well as my a white background would so I hope this is okay for you guys and it doesn't cause anybody problem seeing my makeup um so actually this video is going to be trying out new products as well so it is my birthday makeup look but i've got a massive box of stuff in here that has got all sorts of different makeup that i'm going to try out and i'm so excited to film this video because i've been wanting to try out all this new makeup for a really long period of time but I just haven't had a chance to do it so this is my chance and I really should I've got um, a bubble to tie up my hair but I think I'll be alright I'm just gonna put my hair back so um, I'm gonna start off as I normally do with my eyebrows um, I haven't got actually anything new for my eyebrows so I'm just gonna be using the same old um, freedom pomade that I normally use on an angle brush so I'm just going to apply that onto my brows and I think my brows need doing but no one's going to notice that. <laughs> I'm going to neaten them up a bit with some concealer. So, um, I've, I've bought actually, I've actually bought a new concealer and I've bought the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium Custard. And um, I've heard really good things about this. I've actually used it quite uh, once before, but I don't remember what it felt like or anything like that. So, I'm going to try it out again as if I am trying out a brand new product and I've never tried it out before. So I'm just going to use an angled brush just to clean up my eyebrows. <laughs> start off with my eyes and uh, again I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Concealer um, as a primer for my eyelids so I'm just going to apply a little bit on the top of the eyelids and blend that out with my finger well actually I might blend it out with this um, so far the, the concealer is really nice really it's not too thick and it's not too thin it's just the perfect um, consistency and it's doing a good job at concealing my dark circles and 
everything like that so I can't really complain um, but if you guys are looking for a cheap alternative to the NARS one and like the same consistency really um, really good at concealing I, I suggest um, you go for the uh, Maybelline Fit Me that's absolutely amazing concealer I've used it from day one when it was released and um, I haven't gone back from it so if you guys are looking for a cheap alternative it's only 5 dollars in the UK and I'm not sure what price that is in the USA or in Australia so I'll have a look and I'll list that in the um, description down below in with a new palette which I'm so excited to share with you guys and it's the Makeup Revolution uh, Life on the Party After Party um, palette so it looks like this it's got like a nice shimmery um packaging and if you open it we oh, need to take the stickers off so here's the palette right here and it's got some lovely shimmer shades at the top it's got some lovely matte ones um nice brown tones at the bottom and yeah so this caught my eye in the shop i was like wow when i first seen it it's got basically most of the colors that you'll ever need in your life <laughs> So, um, I'm going to start off by using this shade here. And I'm not sure what I'm actually going to be doing, so I'm just going to go with the flow. So, my birthday dress, um, I've got two that I need to choose out of. So, I'm just going to keep it quite neutral, um, add a bit of, um, a little bit of colour, a pop of colour to it, um, and see how we go. But I'll probably go all out, I'm not sure, so I'm just going to go with the flow right now. Um, so, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, and that is called Aurora, which is a really nice name. I'm just going to put my brush into that and blend that into my crease. You always need a nice warm tone transition colour. So I'm just going to blend that into my crease right there. So, um, most of this makeup I actually got when it was Black Friday, um, and I think I went a bit crazy and I spent like £500 on just makeup, um, but I think I needed a bit of new things, um, try out new things because my makeup is getting quite old and, you know, when it just sits in your, in your, like, drawers and stuff and it just looks pretty, that's basically what my makeup was doing. Okay. So they're blending out actually quite well and they're showing up quite well as well so I brownie just a little bit so it gives me more of a 3D effect. Okay, so I'm happy with that, and I'm gonna go in with this one. Oh wow, it's so pigmented. If you guys wanna get the best pigmentation out of a palette, which is got shimmery shades then I suggest you either put some primer water or some um, um, what's that thing called? water and it basically does the job
now that I'm happy with my eyes, I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and I'm going to be using my favourite collection, Fast Drog Eyeliner. So I'm just going to... If you guys want to know a bit more about what's been happening and stuff, I think that instead of talking about it in this video, I'm going to do a Q&A. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to send me some questions in my DMs or um, email me or anything like that, feel free to do so. Because I'll be more than happy to respond to you guys because, or I'll answer all your questions on a video. And... Um, then that'll be better right so I've got two pairs of brand new I've got two pairs of brand new eyelashes that I'm thinking of using so I've got I've got, I've got Bambi lash and I've got pixie lash and these are from a company called whiplash um, so I think I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna try pixie lash because it's not my usual type so I'm just gonna see what they look like and it looks like I'll probably need a scissors because they are quite long so um, hmm. these are what they look like focuses I prefer Bambi lash so I'm just gonna put them back in and try them out another time I'm just going to go get a quick scissors so that I can cut the pair of eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the eyelashes on. I think they're really nice. They don't look very natural, which I like to have like really na natural eyelashes. But they are really pretty, so I can't really complain. And um, they actually look really nice with the colours that I'm wearing. Throughout this video, I'm just going to probably be blending. <laughs> right, anyways... So uh, now I'm going to go on to my favourite part of the face, which I love to do. So I'm just going to put some moisturiser on and I'm going to be using the Lavender Tree um, Tree Moisturising Face Lotion. I'm just going to just put a pump of that on my face. Just to moisturise all the areas that need to be moisturised. Especially my forehead and my nose because they are the driest things ever. I'm going to hold that into my skin. So I'm just going to do a bit of colour correcting and this is not a brand new product. This is the LA uh, Pro Conceal which I always use but I'm just going to use the um, orangey shade and just get rid of any pigmentation that I feel is necessary. I'm going to put some over here. Here. Mm. And this is not a crucial step at all, you can just skip it if you need to, but I prefer to do it because it makes your face look really flawless. So I'm just going to blend that in with my finger um, because I don't want to get it on my sponge, my new beauty blender. And I'm not going to lie guys, trying to do things with nails is impossible. I think I put too way too much. Look at my finger. <laughs> right, I've made a massive mess of my face, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so um, I've tried to do the best out of blending that as much as I could. Um, I didn't realise that it was that pigmented. I mean, it's the second time trying it out and I, and I didn't put it um, all over my face last time. So um, this is really pigmented, just to let you guys know. So try not to use as much as I did. Um, 
But what I'm going to do is go in with my new beauty blender and this is the pop edition which I'm so excited to use. I mean who doesn't love a brand new beauty blender? Let's see if I can blend that out. I didn't really want to use this to you for blending out orange concealer. But you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Okay. So um, now that I have concealed and corrected, I'm going to go in with a foundation and I've never tried this before. I know everybody raves about this. It's a really nice foundation, so hopefully I think the same. Um, I'm going to be using the shade Stromboli in medium 3. Um, and I know this comes in a lovely pump, so that's always a plus. And I'm just going to square a couple of pumps onto my back of my hand. I think about two enough. Um, it looks really wet, so um, I'm glad my beauty blender can absorb all the rest of the thingy. And this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So it's really, uh, I've got the yellow undertone color, so um, it should match fine. So I'm just gonna apply that onto my face, and hopefully it covers all that orange nose because. I'm looking very orange at the moment. It doesn't really smell up much. Maybe if I have a proper smell in a second. Okay, so my Peter Blender absorbed all that in, so I think I need another two pumps. I've used four pumps on my face and I think I have um, covered all my face in that foundation. I'm just going to get rid of any excess and try and get in all the nuts and crannies. So now that I have blended in all that foundation I'm going to go in with the concealer which I have used as an eye primer and I'm going to apply that under my eyes in a triangle shape um, on the bridge of my nose on the middle of my forehead put on there and under my chin and again, I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. And as you can see, I'm just trying to make like a sharp line with the point of the sponge so that it looks nice and crisp. Blend that out on my nose. So I would love to know what kind of videos you guys would like me to film in the future so that I can make a list and hopefully um, start to film a bit more because I really do enjoy doing it and I love giving you guys tips and just talking to you guys um, obviously not directly but it feels like I'm talking to somebody you know what I mean <laughs> okay so I'm happy with that blended in now and also I am going to try out some a couple of new brushes and this eyelash is really annoying me so um, I'm going to try a couple of new brushes that I actually bought. Um, so, so I bought this massive, massive brush from the brand called Crown and it's a C518. Um, I also bought a, um, like a, like a concealer brush but I'm going to use it as a powder brush and also a contour brush by the, um, by the company called Crown. So I can't wait to use these out. Um, 
and I'm going to be using the Bake and Finish Revolution powder which I've never tried before so hopefully it's like my banana banana powder because it's absolutely amazing but it's very expensive it's like £16 so let's see if we can find an alternative so I'm just going to put some the back of this palette I've just put a bit at the back of my palette and I'm going to use that um, concealer brush that I'd probably use on, for under my eyes to bake it so I'm just going to put them out there and oh it's going everywhere put a bit over here I don't think I'm going to put too much because by the looks of things it's looking a bit cakey already and I haven't even put much and it's leaving a white cast which is really weird I mean it's only five pounds so you don't expect it to do the best job but and I'm going to use my favorite LA Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze which I swear by um, so I'm just going to put that on the perimeter of my face and contour and down my nose and I'm gonna use the that contour brush just to blend it all out. I've never used this but I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade light medium and I'm so excited to use this because I know so many people have used this and loved it and I'm always late to the game but who cares so I'm just going to show you what it looks like and I think I'm going to be using this shade right here actually I might use a mixture of all of them that's what go all out so a little bit of that one, a little bit of that one, and a little bit of that one, and just slightly contour and set all that area. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the eyes quickly and I am going to apply that same colour red under my eyes just a little bit. So. some blush and I think I'm just gonna go in with my normal favorite color which is that one there and I'm apply it with this massive brush which I'm so excited to use because it's so fluffy I'm just gonna apply a little bit and as you can see it just gives you a little bit of flush of color uh, nothing too major and what I might do is just at the bottom of my sponge just go in a bit and and I purchased the new Anastasia Liqui Liquid Lipsticks kit and they've got the shade 
uh, Requeen stripped current toe stays an American doll so I'm not too sure what colour I'm going to go through I'll probably go for a nude just because the eyes can do the talking do you know what I mean so I'm just going to take that out um, and I'm going to try this colour here I think that's called uh, stripped so I can't wait to use this Okay, it's looking the same colour as my face, so that's definitely not the colour I'm using. Let's try, let's try, what's this colour called? Toast. And I'm going to go on top of that. Yeah, this is another colour. 